Okay, so this is Grandma's new computer. I don't know if you can see it here on this crowded countertop. We're going to show you how to <clears throat> a couple things about it real quick. So there's the laptop, and then we got you a monitor right here. They're next to each other. If you set it up in this configuration with a monitor to the right of the laptop, it'll work correctly when you put it together. So you got your mouse. If you can see the mouse right there. To get to the laptop, you just go left. And then bam, the mouse is over on the laptop. Go back right, just to the edge of the screen, and then it pops back over to here. So when you're docked, and that laptop is docked, and I'll show you that in a minute, your main monitor is the monitor when you're docked, and that's a 20 inch monitor. And we put your team viewer on here. So here's your team viewer icon double click that this pops up and then we'll just need that number there uh, your ID and password and then we can connect to you from here and Brittany will probably help you out the most right Britt? Yep. <laughs> and then we can uh, help you remotely with that so and that comes up when you close it but just close that and it's out of your way so you see all your stuff's here there's your PowerPoint your publisher um, <clears throat> Word and all your documents are here under documents. That's all your stuff right there. So that's all here. All right, and then uh, you can drag things over to the laptop. Let's say you got a Word document open. As soon as it comes up. <clears throat> And we're waiting. There it is. Okay, so we'll just do a blank doc. And there it is finally. So you just grab it by the toolbar up here. So just click anywhere up here and hold. Pull it. And you can move it over to the laptop. And then if you double click the bar, then you're full screen over there. Where that's helpful at is like maybe you got an email open on this one and you're typing something. So you move it over there. Or and you go back just the opposite, you grab it, drag it over here. And you're typing on your Word document, but you want to read your email, so you can just drop your email over here and then type over here while you're looking at something else. Or you could do a couple mm, web pages. Like here's a web page there. And you just want to get out of the way for a minute, you can put it over there. And we can even open up a second one over here so you got a web page there web page over there so that's what's nice about the dual monitor all right so that should be easy enough for that so now as far as taking it apart uh, and you'll do this reverse when you put it back together oh let's show you these buttons here so this is the laptop right here when you have it undocked course here's your mouse pad right here and those are your mouse buttons up here you got some more buttons and this one right here is your calculator so if you were to hit that one there's your calculator this is your volume right here up and down so if we were to open the volume mixer there's the mixer bar and I hit the up key, you'll see that going up. And if I hit the down one, you'll see it going down. So that's what those do. This is your mute button right here, this amber one. And you'll see if you hit that, you see you just muted your audio. Hit it again, unmute. So that's what that one does. This blue one right here is your um, Wi Fi. So if you hit that and it goes amber, your Wi-Fi is turned off so if you want your Wi-Fi that has to be blue the rest of those opens your internet and email applications and this one here turns on and off your um, touchpad here so I, I wouldn't mess with any of those and of course your power button is right there anyway so <clears throat> so this laptop is docked right now let's go ahead and turn it off 
waiting for it to shut down. Here's your lights here. <clears throat> this, shows, this is your power light, Wi-Fi light. That's your uh, power indicator, whether it's charging or not. <clears throat> There's your docking station right there. To undock the laptop, Brett, go ahead and unlock, undock the laptop. You hit the eject button, and then you can just pull the laptop away. And then to, to dock it, go ahead and redock it. <clears throat> you line up those two lines right there, right in the middle. You see the one on the laptop and the one on the docking station. And there's little spacers right here. Those are set so that you can put the laptop against those spacers there and then push it down. So go ahead and inject it again. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put it down one more time. You line up those and then you push it down. And then these lights should light up. So that's how you know if you got it. All right, go ahead and take it out. All right, then it's ejected and those lights are down. Now, <clears throat> all your peripherals. Now that laptop you can take somewhere, you know, another room and use it. Go ahead and lift the lid, turn it on, and then you're using it just like a normal laptop. On your desk here, this is your docking station. Your uh, <clears throat> monitor and your keyboard mouse all attached to it. So on the back side, here's, let me get it so it doesn't turn sideways. Here's the, uh, all the plugs that you got. But the only ones you're going to need is, this is your power, that one that's lit up. That's your power plug for when you're at the desk. And this is your monitor, this blue one. So that goes right there. That's color coded, so that's easy to remember. Let me get the power plug out of the way. Go ahead and take the power plug out of the way. So the blue cable goes to the blue plug. So that's easy to remember. And then power is right next to it. And then your Ethernet from your router will go right there into that plug right there in the bottom right. That's your network. That goes to your router and uh, that should be plugged in pretty much all the time. And then your laptop will use either Wi-Fi or that cable, whichever is connected or whichever it sees is quicker. And normally that cable is quicker. So that's why you want to use it when you're docked. And then those connectors on the side, that's your USB for your keyboard and your mouse. So we'll disconnect those. <clears throat> and then there's your docking station. And then that'll be in the box, so you recognize that. The monitor connects underneath. There's that VGA cable there. We'll leave that connected. You can turn that monitor off. There's the power there on that side. And we'll probably leave that connected if it fits in the box. <clears throat> Hold this for a second. So the monitor raises, can raise up and down. You just lift it so you can adjust it to however you want it. Just pull it up or push it down, whatever height you want. And then you can tilt it, so whatever your viewing pleasure is. And the power button's right there. <clears throat> so that's easy enough, <clears throat> I think. That one turns up on its side, so you can plug everything in. Oh, yeah. So you can turn it like that and plug in. But we'll we'll try to leave those connected when we put it in the box. You won't have to mess with that. So this one might also, this foot might flip up. I think it does. Yeah, so the foot flips up on this. And it pushes down so we can Ship it grab like it and put it in the box. So that's how it'll be when you get it out. So you'll just have to undo that. And here's your keyboard and mouse. That's easy enough. You already saw how that connects. Uh, power cable, obviously that goes into the wall. And then it'll put another one in a bag. Where'd the bag go? The bag is right there. Yeah. So we got you a used dirty bag. <laughs> I wiped it it's off. It's a tight dirty. fit, but the laptop goes in there, so we'll, <clears throat> we'll pop the laptop in there, and then we'll put another power cord in one of these side ones. Uh, so this one will be under your desk, powering this when you're at your desk, 
And then you'll have another one for the laptop when you're out and about. Yeah, or wherever. So, all right, that's it in a nutshell. Have fun. Mm.